we have Man of Sorrows, symbolic of Christ, the Man of Sorrows. I carved this from a piece of Portuguese granite, and here it is, one of fourteen at the Falkirk wheel. I just wanted his head bent up to his knees, just in that containment of the world's pain and sorrow. There's more I can say about it. It is a man of sorrows, heaven forbid. So much of it in the world today. Here we have a piece of Dalbiti granite which I carved the flight into Egypt. I left it fairly spontaneous and direct without worrying about too much detail. I wanted it as if the wind and the elements had carved it and shaped it over time. And there we have the mother bent over here and the wee bear there protecting her child with her big hand there. And it transforms round behind it, transforms into the Joseph figure, the massive, strong titan of faith holding it together. Here is what may be my last sculpture, St. Francis. Now look at this stone. There are two different granites here and basalt. The grey is the basalt. Fused together about 470 million years ago. Can you imagine the heat that put those two stones together? Welded them together all these years ago. So I carved St. Francis lying in state. Is he sleeping? Is he dead? And underneath we have the birds. His blessed birds. They are supporting him. They are lifting him. Lifting him to the heavens. There's a big bird down there, and there's an ibis here. But that's not the full story of this piece, because on the other side is Brother Wolf. Now, St. Francis took on the stigmata of Christ. He took on the nail marks of Christ. And my wolf has taken on the stigmata for him, taken his pain. There's Brother Wolf. There's the stigmata, and what I particularly like, you can put your hand in, amazingly difficult sculpture to make. Maybe it's my last, maybe it's not. This piece is autobiographical. I was born in the countryside and brought up with animals, and it's called Boy with Calf. And the laddie, here he is in his short trousers, bent over this wee calf. But it's, it's in sorrow. It's an elegiac work. And he leans into the calf and weeps for something past that will never be found again. It was murder carving this piece. It was so difficult to carve. And what he does on the other side, and his hand coming up, and I've tooled this blanket of granite. And he weeps. For things past that will never be again. All these pieces, all these 14 pieces here at the Falkirk Wheel, they're only here on loan. I probably will never live to see them placed or sold. There's a despair in that.